Our main lift today is chest press. So we want to make sure our shoulders are opened up, our thoracic spine is as mobile as possible. So get into a fetal position here, big inhale, and then exhale up and around, trying to open up that chest, get that shoulder blade touching the ground, elbow, wrist. Try not to let those knees come up. And then rinse and repeat. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way open. Now, for some of you, this may not be that much of a stretch. For me it is. But it may not be for you. If it's not, put yourself in a 90 degree position here with, two sh with your both shoulders. All right, so my bottom hand straight, my top hand is straight. Keep those hips down and then rotate your upper body up and around. That's going to be a stretch for you. Let's do 10 each side. Either one of those options for your open books. A little pike cobra just to get those shoulders and lats a little bit more warmed up. High plank position, press the hips back, press your hands into the floor. Open up that lat area. See if you can get your chest closer to your thighs. Press your heels down. And then come up and around into a cobra. Drop the hips, split the head, neck. Nice tall, long neck. Squeeze the glutes. And then come back into that pike position. take us about 20 minutes. It's going to be four exercises, 10 plus or minus two each exercise, depending on where you are at, what you feel like doing, and your timing. Okay, We, we want like a, a longer warm-up into this work period today for Power Week. Okay, So each round is going to be timed. We're going to do a four minute round, a three and a half minute round, a three and a half minute round, a three minute round and then a two and a half minute round. So you're losing work time, it's gonna force you just to get down a little bit faster. Okay? So far, so good. We're doing six total rounds. This should be a six. Don't look at that. Alright, so let's get to it. Your first exercise, pull over. You can either do standing or kneeling. Squeeze the glutes, keep that trunk nice and tight. Keep your elbows and shoulders in a fixed 90 degree position. Okay, so start here. Pull back, let the dumbbell drop down, keeping your elbows in this position, and then use your shoulders and lats to get the, to get that weight up and over. Okay, make sure you pinch your upper back. Again, 10 plus or minus two. Next up, high pull. So just keeping a kettlebell. If you, if you have a kettlebell, if not, you can use a dumbbell or two dumbbells. And you're pulling from your upper back. The goal is to get that upper back and shoulder area primed up for the work because we're doing chest press again right so elbows up high wrist to chin pull from the upper back 10 plus or minus two next up plank shoulder knee tap getting that core fired up shoulder shoulder knee knee rinse and repeat that's one you're doing 10 of those and your last up shrug row okay perfect gives me a reason to do a little demo for the at-home crew. So we're going to do a shrug row, but with two dumbbells in a hinge position. Okay, so you can still get those shoulders moving without bending the elbows. That's the goal. So do a shrug, and then do a full row. Shrug, and then full row. Okay, maintaining that good hinge position. Okay, so the first movement is here. You'll see why once we do the bench press and I explain why that's super important. It's stress. Damn, what's the duds no. all? What's the duds? Hey. All right, here we go. Work period. It's going to take us about 20 minutes. Three exercises. Ten sets. 
okay? So, the first half of it is going to be 10 reps on your, on your main lift. You're gonna have a main lift, which is today's chest press, and you're gonna superset that with a speed exercise for the first five sets. So it's gonna be a superset. So, 10 chest press, and then five plyo push-ups, and then eight chest press, and then five plyo push-ups, and then six, 10, eight, six, four, two, progressive overload on your chest press, and you're gonna complement with the plyo push-up, okay? The next half, you're gonna start increasing your reps, maybe taking some weight off, and you're gonna go two, four, six, eight, 10, on the way back up, and you're gonna superset those five sets with your main lift, which is your chest press, with an exercise to complement it for stability. Does that make any kind of sense? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. So it's, there's 10 total sets. The first five are your main lift, which is your chest press. I'm just doing them on the floor. You can use a bench here with, with a barbell. You can use a bench with two dumbbells. I'm just doing floor press for ease of demonstration. Simple stuff, right? Now, the reason why you did that first exercise a little while ago, or that last exercise, I should say, was to get those upper back muscles and that shoulder blade kind of primed up. Because when you're lying on the bench or the floor, you want to pinch your shoulder blades back and keep that upper back stable and strong for support for your press. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I'm pinching my shoulder blades back. And that's gonna build some support back here, which is where that power is really coming from as far as your chest press goes. So that's A, that's exercise A, that's your main lift. You're gonna do 10 reps there, the first set, and then immediately go into some kind of plyo push-up. Okay, whether you're doing it fully here, the full plank position, looking to build speed off of the floor, using those same muscles, or you're gonna do it from your knees. Just taking some body weight off, okay? You're doing five plyo push-ups. Make sense so far? Cool. Your next five sets are gonna be chest press, supersetted with a back widow. If you have two yoga blocks, they will come in handy. You're gonna do the same movement, actually the complete opposite movement, using the same muscles now. Right, you're gonna pinch those shoulder blades back. Okay, if you have two yoga blocks, it's just gonna give you a little bit more range of motion. Keeping those elbows firmly planted on the yoga blocks, pressing in, lifting your upper body up, using those upper back muscles. Okay, nice proud chest, squeezing down and back. Okay, holding up there for a split second, establishing stability, and then coming back down into your next rep. rep. You're doing 10 of those. I'm gonna have a running clock. I'm gonna suggest taking about 45 seconds rest before heading into your next set. And it'll put us at about 20 minutes for the work period. Finish your time. It's gonna be a 10 second work, 10 second rest for 10 rounds. <laughs> Two exercises, so you're actually going to do 20 rounds of that, okay? So 10 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. First exercise, squat thrust. Okay, it's a burpee without the push-up. And then we're going to do 10 rounds of that, and then your next 10 rounds is going to be a straight leg stood up. Big exhale on the way up, one vertebrae at a time on the way down. Really simple stuff, two body weight exercise. Let's go.